be anyone to swear in. To swear in, which right. means that there won't be anyone to compel. So if <laughs> the applicants want It'd to just speak, be the applicants, if, if for some reason they have to answer questions, I guess. Well, let's be sworn in then. I'll, I'll still let you pick it up, but. We'll just do a virtual swearing in. Anybody who wants to be sworn in and t and will they all be able to hear me at the same time? If they're watching TV, they will. Do you want to do it one at a time as the items come up? Okay, we're at one thirty, guys. I need to get the government. I texted Jack. Okay. I see him now. Oh, we're good. Ask the paper shufflers to stop shuffling paper again. That's, well, I'm, my mic is not, so I don't know. Good afternoon, everybody. I'd like to call back to order the Pasco Board of County Commission meeting of May 5th, 2020. I'd like to remind everybody in the rooms to put your microphones on mute at this time and silence your electronic devices when you do so. Um, now we'll proceed on with a public hearing agenda. I am starting with item P1, ordinances. Matt Clerk, do we have proof of item P1? Yes, Chairman. Um, it was published in the Tampa Bay Times on March 13th, 2020. And that's been withdrawn. And we're that so that's withdrawn. And we want a P2 then. And of course, we have publication for P2. Yes, P2 was published in the Tampa Bay Times on April 19th, 2020. Okay, I'll read it to the record. In order to the Paso County Board of County Commissioners amending Ordinance 79-28, as subsequently amended, which created the Paso County Municipal Fire Services Tax Unit, amending section, can read that now? Inclusion of certain other areas to include all the lands lying with the municipal boundaries of the Denver Hills, Florida, providing for a killer, providing for severability, providing for an effective gate. Take it away, whoever this item is. This is Chief, Chief. Chief Cassens. Uh, thank you, Mr. Biles. Um, I don't have anybody signed up for this item to speak. So, commissioners, do you have any questions on this item? Ron Oakley moves. Ron Oakley motion. Seeing none, Chief. I move to approve P2. This is Commissioner Starkey. Uh, motion by Commissioner Starkey. I'm looking for a second. Second by Jack Mariano. Second by Commissioner Mariano. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. District 1, Commissioner Oakley. Aye. District 3, Commissioner Starkey. Aye. District 4, Commissioner Wells. District 5, Commissioner Mariano. Aye. District 2, Chairman Moore. Aye. Thank you, Madam Clerk. <clears throat> and just, Commissioners, just to make it easy, what, unlike when we're in the boardroom, if I ask for a motion, you're going to have to pause for a minute and then state the motion because you can't hear both of us talking at once and I can't hear somebody making a motion while I'm talking. It doesn't allow it on the computer, okay? Okay. Right, P3, an ordinance amending the Pasco County Comprehensive Plan, providing small scale comprehensive plan amendment to the future land use maps from Res 3 to commercial on approximately 4.86 acres of real property located in the southeast corner of Starkey Boulevard and Decubulus Road, providing a severability and effective date. P3. Uh, Chairman, we have proof on P3. It was published in the Tampa Bay Times on February 14th, 2020 and March 21st, 2020. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Good afternoon, Commissioners. Denise Hernandez, Planning and Development. On this item, this item was presented to the local planning agency on February 27th, 2020, where they found it consistent with the comprehensive plan and recommended approval to the board. This is the adoption hearing on this item. So today we're asking that the board adopt the proposed comprehensive plan amendment amending the future land map sheet 19 from res 3 to com and uh this is done by roll call vote thank you, thank you ms hernandez um 
any questions from the board at this time? Because we do not have anybody signed up for public comment. This is Commissioner Starkey. Yes, ma'am. Um, just one thing that I just, um, I know we have some new staff that weren't, weren't here when we developed Starkey Boulevard, but Starkey Boulevard is designated as a scenic road. If you notice, there's no billboards and um, very little signage on that road. And um, we, we uh, hope that the buffering that occurs along the edge of that um, business is robust. <laughs> to um, keep the aesthetic quality of, of that road. It has a trail going right beside it, and it will have a trail going across the front of it um, when we widen to Cubulus. But I'm, I'm in full support of the use, just hope we have a robust uh, landscaping plan. With that, I move approval. This is Commissioner Starkey. Thank you, Commissioner Starkey. I have a motion by Commissioner Starkey. Ron Oakley, your seconds. Second by Commissioner Oakley. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. District 1, Commissioner Oakley. Aye. District 3, Commissioner Starkey. Aye. District 4, Commissioner Wells. District 5, Aye. Okay. District 5, Commissioner Mariano. Aye. District 2, Chairman Moore. Aye. Motion passes 5-0. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Moving on to 4. An ordinance by the Paso County Board of County Commissioners amending Chapter 27 of the Paso County Code of Ordinances regulating communication facilities within the public rights and way of Pasco County pursuant to Section 337.401 for a statute providing for inclusion in the Code of Ordinances of Ability Conflicts and Effective Date. Good afternoon, Commissioners. Denise Hernandez, Planning and Development on this item, PDD 20-0388A. We're requesting a continuance to the June 16th, 2020 Board of County Commissioners meeting at 1.30 in Newport Ritchie. We did receive some comments from one of our stakeholders. All the comments are substantive, so it's going to take some time for us to take care of those. Okay, I have, I have a request to continue this item. Um, to continue. This is Commissioner Starkey. I have a motion by Commissioner Starkey to continue. I need a second. And that would be to the date and time that would Move to continue, Hernandez. Jack Mariano. Uh, I'll second the motion. Uh, for clarification, that would be to the, which, what's the date of the next? June 16th, uh, 2020, Board of County Commissioners meeting at 1.30 in Newport Ritchie. Yes, so June 16th, 1.30, Newport Ritchie. It's part of my mission. Thank you. And Commissioner Mayor, please receive your second. I, I second the motion. I have a second by Commissioner um, Mariano. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Uh, before I call roll, I would like to state publication to the record. It was published in the Tampa Bay Times on March 21st, uh, 2020. District 1, Commissioner Oakley? Aye. District 3, Commissioner Starkey? Aye. District 4, Commissioner Wells? Aye. District 5, Commissioner Mariano? Aye. District 2, Chairman Moore? Aye. Motion passes 5 0. Thank you. E5, an ordinance amending the Paso County Comprehensive Plan providing for a large scale comprehensive plan amendment. Land use chapter two, goal FLU six, Pasadena Hills by amending text figures for pH one through pH eight and pH 12 through pH 15 and tables pH two through pH four. It is necessary for internal consistency, providing for a repeal or severability at effective date. Item P5 was published in the Tampa Bay Times on December 27th, 2019, and April 19th, 2020. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Good afternoon, Commissioners. Denise Hernandez, Planning and Development. On this item, this is the adoption hearing on this item. This item was presented to the Villages of the Pasadena Hills Planning and Policy Committee on 12 18 of 20 to the local planning agency on 1 9 of 20, where they found it consistent with the comprehensive plan and recommended approval to the board. This was transmitted and with a full presentation to the board on February 18th of 20. And today we're asking that you adopt the item. Thank you, Mr. Hernandez. Any, Mr. Uh, Commissioner Oakley, you have a question? No, no question. I just want to uh, move that we approve this item. And for the record, I have nobody signed up for public comment. And now I have a motion by Commissioner Oakley. Do I have a second? A second, Commissioner Starkey. Second by Commissioner Starkey. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. District 1, Commissioner Oakley. Aye. District 3, Commissioner Starkey. Aye. District 4, Commissioner Wells. Aye. District 5, Commissioner Mariano. Aye. District 2, Chairman Moore. Aye. Motion passes 5-0. Thank you. 
Uh, P6, Madam Clerk, do we have um, oh, not publication? Yes, it was published in the Tampa Bay Times on December 27th, 2019 and April 19th, 2020. Thank you. In accordance with the Pasco County Board of Com Commissioners amending the Pasco County Land Development Code 602.J. Uh, Ben Harrell Villages of Pasadena Hill Stewardship District by many text in Exhibit 602-A through 602-E and is necessary for internal consistency providing applicant applicability, repealer severability, inclusion into the land development code and effective date. Ms. Hernandez. Good afternoon again. Uh, PDD 200408. This is the, the actual um, adoption hearing on this item. This went to a local planning agency who found it consistent with the Pasco County Comprehensive Plan on January 9th, 2020. And for the BCP, the Board of County Commissioners for first reading was on February 4th, 2020, where there was a full presentation provided. We're asking that you adopt the ordinance amendments today. Thank you, Ms. Hernandez. I have nobody signed up for public comment. Any questions from the board at this time? None. I'll entertain a motion. Ron Oakley moves. I have a motion from Commissioner Oakley. Commissioner Starkey seconds. I have a second from Commissioner Starkey. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. District 1, Commissioner Oakley. Aye. District 3, Commissioner Starkey. Aye. District 4, Commissioner Wells. Aye. District 5, Commissioner Mariano. Aye. District Chairman Moore. Aye. Motion passes 5-0. Thank you. 7. Do we have publication? Yes. Uh, item P7 was published in the Tampa Bay Times on November 29th, 2019. P7, an ordinance amending the Pasco County Comprehensive Plan, providing a large-scale comprehensive plan amendment to the future land use maps, Map 2-15 and Sheet 20, stage from Res 3, residential, 3D, retail office, res or from resident, retail office, residential, or Res 6, residential, 6DU dash or slash GA on approximately 41.758 acres of real property located at the intersection of Little Lake Thomas Road and, and Lana Lakes Boulevard, providing for appeal and severability and an effective date. I have nobody signed up for this, and I see there's a request to continue this. Ms. Hernandez? Yes, this uh, PDD 20065, there's a request to continue to June 2nd BCC meeting at 1 30 p.m. in Dade City. Or has no question to take a motion to continue this item? Move to continue this item to June 16th in New, it says here Newport Ritchie, you said Dade City, Denise, so. Yes, it's June, June 2nd, the June 2nd Board of County Commissioners, oh. according to our calendar is in, in Dade City. I was on the next one. Okay, so uh, move to continue the meeting to June 2nd in Dade City at 1.30. This is Motion. Commissioner Starkey. Ron Oakley seconds. Motion by Commissioner Stark. You have a second by um, Commissioner Oakley. Madam Clerk, please call the roll to continue this. District 1, Commissioner Oakley. Aye. District 3, Commissioner Starkey. Aye. District 4, Commissioner Wells. Aye. District 5, Commissioner Mariano. Aye. District 2, Chairman Moore. Aye. Uh, motion passes to continue this item to June 2nd, 2020. Thank you. That does it for our ordinances. We're going to move on to public hearings. Uh, give me one second here. Um, if we could go ahead and um, proceed with the procedures for rezonings. Mr. County Attorney, review the procedures for rezonings, please. There are two rezoning agendas, regular and consent. Staff will present each application to the Board of County Commissioners. If staff or planning commission has recommended approval and there is no opposition, the application will be considered with, by the Board without further presentation. If staff or planning commission has recommended denial or if there is opposition to the application, the applicant will be given five minutes for presentation. The opposition will be given three minutes for each individual or five minutes for a group representative. And the applicant will be given three minutes for rebuttal. Any individual disagreeing with staff or planning commission recommendation or anyone wishing to object to any condition of the rezoning may at this time request the petition be pulled from the consent agenda, in which case that application will be heard under the regular agenda later on during the meeting. Otherwise, all rezoning applications on the consent agenda will be approved by a single motion and vote. If you wish to speak to any petition, please give your name and address and whether or not you've been sworn for the record. These are quasi-judicial public hearings. The law in Florida is that mere public support or opposition of the application is insufficient for this board to take action. Please limit your comments to those criteria found within the board's land development code. Thank you, Mr. Steinsteiner. Now, we do not have anybody that signed up that wanted to speak to these items, but at the same time, Madam Clerk, I would still 
ask you to go ahead and swear people in in case an applicant would like to speak to an item. Madam Clerk, please go ahead. Okay. Um, we do have um, applicants on the line and listening in. If they would please um, raise their right hand to be sworn. Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you're about to give is the truth? So help you God. I'm sure they all said yes. <laughs> <laughs> So we'll move on to item P8. Um, I'm going to say the key thing is to make things go smooth. Money operating permit and conditional use amendment request, um, requesting a continuous coastal landfill proposal of Florida LLC. Mining operating permit and conditional use permit amendment for an existing mining and construction and demolition debris disposable disposal facility. Northwest Path County at the end of Houston Avenue, approximately two miles east of US 19, containing approximately 80.72 acres. Um, uh, Mr. Nandos, on that? Let's get proof of publication on that one. It was, uh, PA what? was published in the Tampa Bay Times on March 21st, 2020. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, um, Madam Clerk. PDD 20-0113, this item uh, is a request to continue to June 16th at 1.30 p.m. in Newport Ritchie. This is Jack Mario. Hello, everybody. Move to continue time certain. I have a motion to continue that time certain. Time certain. Yeah, do, do maybe you shouldn't say time certain. Because then it would have to be at 1.30, right? Then zonings, right? Zonings are. No, time certain would be the, the, the time certain that is, well. Mm. We always say time certain or days. It's fine. Damn, time certain at 1.30 is fine because it starts at, the meeting starts at 1.30. Yeah. Ron Oakley seconds. I have a second by Commissioner Oakley. Madam Clerk, please call a roll. District 1, Commissioner Oakley. Aye. District 3, Commissioner Sharkey. Aye. District 4, Commissioner Wells. Aye. District 5, Commissioner Mariano. Aye. District 2, Chairman Moore. Aye. Motion passes. Thank you. Mr. Steinsner, I have a question for you, sir. Yes, sir. All right, so I have two, three, for continuances, um, it's okay for us to do the rest of the consent items again as we normally do and ask for one vote at the end as long as they're not pulled off, correct? After you've gotten through the continuances you're you're talking about or or, sure. or yes. Yes. Okay. yes. Yes. All all the consent items can still be approved by a single motion and vote, and because you have no one registered to speak to them unless a commissioner wishes to push pull them off it would be it would be one package okay great i just want to stay, make sure we're sticking with policy thank you sir okay uh p10 and madam clerk we approve item p9 p10 right no no we're we going back wait a second little late thomas immediately just did P9, did I not? Um, you did P8 with the coastal landfill disposal. Can I not just read off P9 too? Mr. Steinsleiter? Uh, I didn't read it. Okay, I'm I sorry. Uh, <laughs> I, I thought we started it. <laughs> okay, back to P9. Zoning Amendment, um, Little Lake Thomas MPUD, Master Plan Unit Development, N and Z Corporation, the Two Sisters Land Trust, rezoning request from R1 Rural and City Residential District to an MPUD Master Plan Unit to it. Development district will allow 218 single family attached townhome units and approximately 45.52 acres. Madam, oh, we read the proof off, I, and I apologize for that. That's all we did. No, I haven't read we the did proof read. on P9. Um, okay. It was published in the Tampa Bay Times on March 13th, 2020. Now we're good. Okay. Denise Questions. Hernandez, Planning and Denise. Development. Sorry, PDD 27475. This is a request for continuance to June 2nd at 1.30 in Dade City. The reason why this sounds familiar, Mr. Chairman, is because under the ordinance section, you read the accompanying land use. Ah, change. thank you. I knew I was going too crazy. All right, any questions? Now, under a motion. Ron Oakley moves approval to continuance. 
I have a motion from Commissioner Oakley to continue this to June 2nd, 2020 at 1.30 p.m. I have a second by Commissioner Starkey. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. District 1, Commissioner Oakley. Aye. District 3, Commissioner Starkey. Aye. District 4, Commissioner Wells. Aye. District 5, Commissioner Mariano. Aye. District 2, Chairman Moore. Aye. Motion passes 5-0. Thank you. P-10, do we have proof? Yes, Chairman. It was published, and P-10 was published in the Tampa Bay Times April 8, 2020 and April 15, 2020. Thank you. Land of excavation, operating permit and conditional use, um, Sand Hill Flats LLC, land of excavation, operating permit and conditional use for an interim borough pit in AC Agricultural District, Central Pasco, the southeast corner of the Ty, Tyndale Road and Gobble Road, any approximately 30.3 acres. And, uh, on this item, Diddy's Hernandez, planning and development on this item, PDD 20, CU 26. This is a request to continue to June 2nd at 1.30 in Dade City. This item is also known as CU 19-32. Thank you. Any questions from the board? Entertain a motion. Ron Oakley moves. Commissioner Stark, I have a motion by Commissioner Oakley. I have a second by Commissioner Starkey to continue this item to June 2nd, 2020 at 1 30 p.m. in Dade City. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. District 1, Commissioner Oakley. Aye. District 3, Commissioner Starkey. Aye. District 4, Commissioner Wells. Aye. District 5, Commissioner Mariano. Aye. District 2, Chairman Moore. Aye. Motion passes 5 0. Thank you, Madam Clerk. P11, do we have proof? Yes, Chairman, it was published in the Tampa Bay Times, March 27th, 2020. Thank you, Ben As we're continuing, Iqbal Gross changed the zoning from AC Agriculture to a RMH Home District. Central Pasco County, the south side of Clinton Avenue, approximately one quarter mile east of US Highway 31, containing approximately 38.75 acres. Everybody signed up for this item. Anybody have any questions? I'll entertain a motion to continue this item. Move to continue June 2nd, 2020 uh, at 1.30 in Dade City or by virtual meeting. Commissioner Stark. Ron Oakley seconds. I have a second. I have a motion for Commissioner Stark to continue this item then, June 2nd. And I have a second by Commissioner Oakley. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. District 1, Commissioner Oakley. Aye. District 3, Commissioner Starkey. Aye. District 4, Commissioner Wells. District 4, Commissioner Wells. District 5, Commissioner Mariano. Aye. District 2, Chairman Moore. Aye. Give me a second. I think Commissioner Wells' mic just shut off for some reason. If he gets back. Yeah, I, I agree with that item. <laughs> I, I, there you go, Madam Clerk. 5 Thank 0. You. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Um, Denise, I'm going to go ahead and let you take it all, all from here, okay? Sounds good. So we're going to go over to P12, Madam Clerk. P12 um, was published in the Tampa Bay Times on March 21st, 2020. Item P12 is PDD 27463. It's a zoning amendment in the name of 1936 Abacus Road Land Trust. It's for a change in zoning from C1 Neighborhood Commercial District to C2 General Commercial District. Uh, this comes to you with a recommendation of approval. On this item, there is uh, the applicant has voluntarily agreed to record a deed restriction that prohibits certain usage, uses, which include car wash, barbecue stands and pits, kennels, pet shops, propane sales and storage, hotels and mold pills that are, that are higher than two stories. Uh, this comes to you with a recommendation of approval. This went to the Planning Commission on 227 of 20. Um, so uh, approval from both the Planning Commission and the Planning and Development Department. Okay, I have nobody signed up to speak on this item. Um, Anything from the commissioners? Well, um, this is Commissioner Starkey, just looking at that, I thought, oh, this sounds familiar. This is the property that we've put a letter of intent on for Amskills. I thought it was already C2, but um, that isn't a conflict or anything, is it, Jeff? No, I mean, I'm just chair yeah. of the, yeah. okay. Okay, so uh, this not is in my- Not your principal, you're not getting any special private gain yeah. or loss, no, it's not a conflict okay. under the statute. Yeah, well, I'm glad it's going yeah. through, and this is Commissioner Starkey, yeah. and I move approval. No, okay, guys, these are consent oh, it's items. Agenda. These are agenda. Consent agenda. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. That's my comment. I miss it. Okay. Thank you. Uh, again, let me just 
go through this one more time. Since nobody signed up to speak to any of these items, I'm just going back to the commission to make sure there's no no commissioners want to pull any of these items. Seeing none, we'll be on consent, P13. P13 was published in the Tampa Bay Times February 14th, 2020 and March 21st, 2020. P13 is PDD 27466. This is Pasco County Board of County Commissioner initiated for Unit 10 of the Highlands. It's for a change in zoning from AR, Agricultural Residential District, to AR1, Agricultural Residential District. As you may recall, this is an area that um, was deed restricted um, for many, many years, for over 30 years, uh, to not allow uh, mobile homes, but the zoning district does. So the board uh, directed the Planning and Development Department on November 19th of 2019 to initiate a Board of County Commissioners initiated rezoning. So the recommendation on this item is approval and it comes to you with a recommendation, of course, um, as well from the, plan from the Planning Commission of approval on 227 of 20. Thank you, Mr. Nias. I have nobody signed up that opposes this item. Does anybody in the commission need to pull this for any reason? No, leave on consent, E14. P14 was published in the Tampa Bay Times, March 21st, 2020. PDD 20415 in the name of William D. McKnight, Inc. Great expectations. This is a waiver of the specific distance limitation of 1,000 feet from, from a church for conditional use consideration of the sale of alcoholic beverages, beer and wine only, and manufacture of wine for on-premises consumption and package sales in conjunction with the operation of a winemaking shop in a C2 general commercial district. This is uh, this item has a companion, which is the following item P15. It's located 550 feet approximately east of the East Lake Cathedral Church of God in Christ. We have not received any objections on this item, and uh, it comes to you with a recommendation of approval. Yeah. No objections. Anybody from the commission need to pull this for any reason? See not only my consent, P15, please. Martin Clark. P15 was published in the Tampa Bay Times, March 21st, 2020. P20CU19, again, this is the companion item to, to P14. William D. McKnight, great, great expectation. Conditional use for the sale of alcoholic beverages, beer and wine only, and manufacture of wine on premises consumption and package sales in conjunction with the operation of a winemaking shop in a C2 general commercial district. This comes to you with a recommendation of approval with conditions from the Planning Commission and the Planning and Development Department. Thank you, Mr. Hernandez, anybody is in opposition to this item, so anybody on the commission need to pull this for any reason? Seeing that, we P16. P16 was published in the Tampa Bay Times, March 21st, 2020. PDD 20, CU 21, NAP 54, LLC, Starkey Ranch Town Square, conditional use for the sale of alcoholic beverages, beer, wine, and liquor, on press consumption and package sales in conjunction with the operation of a shopping center with outside seating and service of alcoholic beverages in a view in an MPUD, comes to you with a recommendation of approval with conditions from the Planning and Development Department and the Planning Commission. Thank you, Ms. Hernandez. Um, nobody has actually opposed this item. Is anybody from the commission want to pull this for any reason and then leave it on consent p17 item p17 was published in the tampa bay times march 21st 2020 pd20 cu22 psm south branch llc conditional use for the sale of alcoholic beverages beer wine and liquor package sales only in conjunction with the operation of a liquor store and a master plan development district comes to you with a recommendation of approval with conditions from the planning and development department and the planning commission I have nobody that uh, wants to speak in opposition. Any of the commissioners need to pull this? And then leave on consent, P18. P18 was published in the Tampa Bay Times, February 14th, 2020 and March 21st, 2020. PDD 20382, Large Scale Comprehensive Plan Amendment, CPAL 1919, Hayes Road. This is a transmittal of proposed Large Scale Comprehensive Plan Amendment to future land use maps. 2-15 and sheet 04, changing from res one residential one dwelling unit per gross acre to res six residential six dwelling units per gross acre on approximately 29 acres of property located on the west side of the Hayes Road, approximately 125 miles north, 1.25 miles north of State Road 52. This is, we're requesting that you authorize transmittal to the Department of Economic Opportunity and other reviewing agencies. Thank you, Ms. Hernandez. I have nobody that wants to speak in opposition to this item. Does any of the do any of the commissioners have anything they would like to say or pull? Would they like to pull this item? Seeing none, leave on consent. P18 
P19. Item P19, there was no proof of publication provided. Mr. Chairman, it has come to my attention that P19 did not need to be a public hearing item. Um, it is the request for you to adopt this resolution approving their financial plan. It can stay on consent, but it didn't need to be advertised because it wasn't a public hearing to start with. Thank you, Mr. Steinsnyder. Ms. Hernandez. PD money uh, 0501. This is a resolution by the Pasco County Board of County Commissioners adopting the Villages of Pasadena Hills 2020 financial plan, which will be applicable within the J. Ben Harrell Villages of Pasadena Hills Stewardship District. We're just asking you to adopt the resolution today. Thank you. That's, I don't even need to ask if there's opposition because it's not a public hearing item. But um, anybody have anything you want to talk about for this item? Seeing none, leave on consent. P20. P20 was published in the Tampa Bay Times, April 1st, 2020. Good afternoon, Commissioners. It is the Caldwell Public Works, uh, P20. Uh, Roger Space, P pass number 3386. Um, I recommend any approval. Thank you, sir. Um, anybody, I don't have any opposition to this item. Anybody from the board want to pull this item? None, leave our consent. P21. P21 was published in the Tampa Bay Times on April 1st, 2020. Mr. Ainsley. Here's a call to um, P21, Golden Meadows Drive. There are three uh, streets in this project. Um, I was recommending approved. I have nobody who wants to speak in opposition to this item. Does anybody from the board need to pull or want to pull this item? None, leave our consent. P22. P-22 is a regular agenda item. Uh, don't we need to take a motion on the uh, consent items? If so, I move approval. Second, uh, Mr. Stockton, to approve the consent agenda item. I have a motion by Commissioner Oakley. I have a second by Commissioner Starkey to approve the consent agenda items. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. District 1, Commissioner Oakley. Aye. District 3, Commissioner Starkey. Aye. District 4, Commissioner Wells. Aye. District 5, Commissioner Mariano. Aye. District 2, Chairman Moore. Aye. Motion passes. 5-0. Thank you so much. P-22, Ms. Hernandez, is that you again? Right, P-22. We have publication for P-22. Yes. Uh, we have publication for P-22. It was published in the Tampa Bay Times, February 21st, 2020. I understand that we have one person that may not be voting on this item. Is that correct? Yes, Mr. Chair. I need to abstain from voting on item p22 and i have signed the conflict paper thank you commissioner starkey so mr hernandez please go ahead good afternoon uh this item was just placed on regular for that purpose um it's actually a consent item so pdd 27469c uh, in the name of starkey ranch mpud ws tsr lc it's a substantial modification to the approved master plan unit development district to allow the cancellation of the previously approved transportation development agreement and incorporate pertinent language from the development agreement into the conditions of approval. It also revises the conditions of approval to include the construction of Lake Blanche Drive from Merica Drive to Starkey Boulevard, including required intersection improvements. It also removes the requirement to construct intersection improvements at the intersection of Starkey Boulevard and State Road 54 and, it to, and to allow for the dedication of right of way for the East Rangeland Boulevard extension rather than constructing. This comes to you with a recommendation of approval with conditions from the Planning and Development Department and the Planning Commission. Thank you, Ms. Hernandez. I have nobody that's signed up to speak to this item. So with that, I'll entertain a motion. Ron Oakley right. moves approval. Commissioner Mariano, second. I have a motion by Ron Oakley. I have a second by Commissioner Mariano. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. District 1, Commissioner Oakley. Aye. District 3, Commissioner Starkey. Abstain. District 4, Commissioner Wells. Aye. District 5, Commissioner Mariano. Aye. District 2, Chairman Moore. Aye. Motion passes 4 0. Thank you so much. Uh, P23. P23. Is that Mr. Codwell again? Or no? Is that Ms. Ravita? Ms. Ravita. Go ahead. P23. We have publication, Madam Clerk. 
Yes, we have publication for item P23 was published in the Tampa Bay Times January 29th, 2020 and February 5th, 2020. Okay, Ms. Rubita, it's your show. Good afternoon, Joanne Rubita, Real Property and Planning. The Real Property and Planning team has received a petition to vacate a portion of a platted right-of-way filed by Deborah Chapio, Danielle Alexandre, and Paradise Properties. The property is located just north of 9201 State Road 52 between Irma and Canton Avenues. The petitioners have requested to vacate this right-of-way as it is not utilized by adjacent property owners. There were no objections to this petition and the team recommends approval. As Ms. Ravita stated, there's no objection to this. I don't know if anybody signed up to speak. Any of the commissioners like to speak on this item? Mr. Chairman, it's in my district. It's a very key piece of property kind of going to redevelop behind the Wawa's that's in there. So I uh, will be supporting the, supporting the project. Thank you, sir. I have a, is that a motion, sir? I'll move approval. I have a motion by Commissioner Mariano. I have a second, second by, by I have a second by Commissioner Oakley. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. District 1, Commissioner Oakley. Aye. District 3, Commissioner Starkey. Aye. District 4, Commissioner Wells. Aye. District 5, Commissioner Mariano. Aye. District 2, Chairman Moore. Aye. Motion passes 5-0. Ladies and gentlemen, I actually asked Commissioner Wells if he wanted to speak with old business. He does not have anything to say today. So with that, I thank everybody. You had a great, you know, great meeting. Had a hitch. Yes, sir. Sorry, Mr. Chairman. I believe that Commissioner Mariano has a walk-on that he wishes to, to have a resolution for the National Day of Prayer. Okay. Like and that'll be the last like time, guys. Move. Well, I have yes, a question for our administrator. Okay, can we take that offline so we can um, go ahead and stick with the script? Yeah. So I'll move for the emergency. Uh, go ahead, um, Commissioner Mariano. All right, so I'll move for emergency. I believe I have to do that first. Yes, I have a motion to move an emergency, to hear emergency, actually. From I have a second Mariano. by motion. Commissioner Starkey. I have a second by Commissioner Starkey. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. District 1, Commissioner Oakley. Aye. District 3, Commissioner Starkey. Aye. District 4, Commissioner Wells. Aye. District 5, Commissioner Mariano. Aye. District 2, Chairman Moore. Aye. Motion passes 5-0. Commissioner Mariano. Um, for years, we've done a resolution for the National Day of Prayer. They did send one in, and I thank staff very much for getting that forward. So I'll move approval of the National Day of Prayer resolution. I uh, second only. that a motion. This is Commissioner Starkey. I have a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Clerk, we can roll again. I apologize. District 1, Commissioner Oakley. Aye. District 3, Commissioner Starkey. Aye. District 4, Commissioner Wells. Aye. District 5, Commissioner Mariano. Aye. District 2, Chairman Moore. Aye. Motion passes 5-0. Thank you all so much. Again, thanks to the staff for putting this was, went off with went off without a hitch. And with that, we're adjourned and we'll see you in two weeks. Thank you. Um, Mr. Administrator, when we